Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're doing something really easy breezy, beautiful Lottie London girl. <laughs> I've got some cheek products from Lottie London that I'm very excited to try out. Actually, today I have concealer, foundation, powder, and lipstick oh, on the teeth. I have several products from Lottie London on today. The complexion products, like the setting powder, foundation, and concealer, are gonna go in a separate video. So anyways, I have a blush and a bronzer from Lottie London that are new to me. I've never used them before. And of course, we are going to visit our Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter. Let's go ahead and kick it off with the bronzer. I have been looking at this bronzer, like just really not sure how I feel about the shade of it. Always packaged very securely. I super appreciate that about Lottie London, that their stuff is always just completely 100% tamper proof. I love that. So this is the Lottie London Sun Kissed Coconut scented bronzer in the shade sunburst so here it is i love the imprint i don't know if you can see it it's got the lottie london imprint in it nice little compact it does smell like coconut Ooh, how pleasant okay let's give it a try i'm just gonna take my brush and kind of stamp it in here a little bit of swirl it's a little messy I kind of really like to go in a couple times and like get the excess off. I know some people find this wasteful, but it just, I like to do it that way because I feel like it disperses the product really evenly through the brush because I just really want to get it like in there, you know, oh, get it in there. Okay. So we're a little dusty, a little powdery. So I'm thinking this might be kind of pigmented. Let's find out because look how ghostly I look right now. <laughs> so I kind of just like to stamp and buff like right there under my cheekbones. I sort of use my bronzer to shape my face, you know? And I kind of just start back here because that's where, you know, I'm gonna want like the most concentration of color and then just sort of dust my way forward. Okay, yeah, it's not overly pigmented, actually. <laughs> Pretty light pigmented. Let's keep going. But I mean, you can see the product that is there. So that's nice. I just like a little bit more. Just like a little bit more warmth. Just to like really accentuate those cheekbones, you know? And I'm being very light with my brush. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Ooh. It's nice. <laughs> Yeah, that looks good, huh? And then I just will kind of dust around the perimeter of my face, especially because I got this big old forehead here, child. So I'm about to say something that I like never say, but I think it could stand to be more pigmented. Normally I hate like an overly pigmented bronzer because it just puts down too much product and then you have to spend a lot of time blending. This one was interesting because I actually found myself needing to like build it up. So it could stand to be more pigmented, but for like a drugstore bronzer, I think that's good because this would be really great for like a beginner, somebody that's not very confident using bronzer, wants to give it a try, maybe a little intimidated by, you know, overly pigmented bronzers. I know I am. It's not being patchy. It's blending well. It's laying down very lightly, but building works well for my skin tone, I think. This is the part that's gonna be a little bit arduous because I spend a lot of time applying bronzer to my neck and my jawline with like a normally pigmented bronzer. So I might be doing this for a while. So yeah, once I kind of get the main areas like to shape my face with the bronzer, then the very last thing I do, I'm not gonna add any product to the brush, just use what's on it and kind of just dust everywhere on my face. Super duper lightly though. You know, I'm not trying to like deepen my, my actual skin tone or anything, but I find that this kind of just helps get everything seamless and blended. And sometimes if like the bronzer is kind of a funny tone or something, or if my foundation is a funny tone, then this can kind of help get things evened out and looking a little bit more normal, you know? Okay, amazing. I actually 
really like this bronzer. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't think I would. <laughs> I was kind of like expecting to not like it. It's a good option for like a no, no must, no fuss type of day. If I wanna just grab my bronzer brush and just like, bleh, and you know, not have to concentrate too hard. So fun. Bronzer's a win, love that, okay. So this is the ombre blush, even though it doesn't really look very ombre in here. I have this shade Exposed. Once again, packaged very securely. Oh. And I love that. I know I say it like all the time, but I really do because I bought these at Walmart, you know? And you just never know. You just never know what you're gonna get when you go to Walmart. Oh, okay. I thought it was matte. Oh, there's the ombreness of it. Anyways, it has some shimmeriness to it, so I don't think it's totally matte. No, it's like a little bit satiny. We can work with that. Now this is hard for me to be using a different blush right now. I'm kind of like in my honeymoon phase, face? Honeymoon phase with my Believe Beauty cream blush right now. I'm just like, this is the only blush that I want to use right now is the Believe Beauty one. But it's cheek week, so we're gonna keep going with some of these cheek products. And so blush, I kind of like to do it just right over my cheekbones. I find that that kind of helps to lift my face. Okay, I don't really like this. It's giving plenty of shine, like it's giving, like the satininess of it is coming through just fine. The shade is not showing up though. I'm gonna try to go on to the, the deeper side of the ombre thing. I just feel like if I build it, I'm gonna get shinier, but maybe not blushier the way that I want, you know? Okay, yeah, this really isn't working for me. <laughs> the tone also isn't right for the rest of my makeup. Everything's pretty warm. I mean, it's like, it's cute. I think mainly it just is not really vibing with the rest of my makeup. Like probably a warmer blush would have worked better with my makeup today. And see, now I've got too much on this side. We're very satiny, so we're very shiny. But I do take my blush brush, I kind of put it over the high points of my cheeks and then just sort of blend down a little bit so that, you know, we're not getting like a Neapolitan situation with the bronzer underneath it. I'll have to try this blush on a day when my makeup's a little less warm, I guess. I don't like it. <laughs> Gosh dang it. And I mean, it's not being patchy or anything. I just feel like I'm not getting even pigmentation. And I think it's because of the, the ombre-edness. I think when I just go stamp my brush in like that, that it like, you know, half of my brush is lighter pigmented, half of it's deeper. And so then when I come to put it on my cheeks, I'm getting like a little bit uneven application. It's not the worst thing ever though. I just have like so many blushes that I'm absolutely in love with. So it's kind of hard for me to like it. I don't know. <laughs> it's blending nicely though. Like I'm really just trying to sheer it out at this point. Meh. It's fine. I'm not living for it. And I just, I have so many good blushes. So, mm, inconclusive is what we're gonna say. All right, let's move on though to the Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter. This one is not new to me. I have actually had this for quite some time and I've talked about it before on my channel because it's a really great dupe for the Fenty Beauty. It's a great dupe for the Fenty Beauty how many carrots, and I just love this highlighter. Oh my gosh, I just lo uh, 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 love it. Gives you that like wet look. Ooh, it's good. And then the Lottie London, like I said, it's a good dupe. I don't like it quite as much as I like the Fenty one, but it's very close, right? Like it's very similar. Let me do a little more. Yeah, like they're very similar. So anyways, I'm gonna use this one today. Even though I, I like the Fenty one slightly more, 
just because there's something about the finish of the of the Fenty one that just makes it look a little more seamless, like when it's applied to the face. The Fenty one is like $40 and this one is like $10. So I just, I think that this one's definitely a better deal. And I think it's, yeah, part of it too is that the, the Fenty one is like very gel-like in the pan, whereas this one does have a little bit more of a powdery kind of texture about it. Oh! Sorry, I think I just heard my window break. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I'm using like so little of it, like I'm just barely touching it in here and really tapping it off and I still am able to get the full fantasy, child. Now I know this type of highlighter is not for everyone, but I do think that like Lottie London has some other highlighters. Cause this one is, it's like, I mean, it's basically like glitter. <laughs> but it's just, oh, it's cute. I love it. Like you really want to get your shine on. You really want to feel your shiny fantasy. That's the one. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this brush that's just clean and I'm just going to kind of blend around my face a little bit just to make sure everything is nice and even. I'm going to blend over the highlighter last though because I don't want to carry any of the highlighter down into like my bronzer or anything like that. So I'm just gonna kind of blend around my bronzer so that it just looks really nice and blended out. I'm just now realizing that I forgot to do my eyebrows. And there we go. So that's the Lottie London cheek products. Two out of three ain't bad, right? I'm gonna have to mess with the blush some more. I don't think I can totally count it out. You know, if I do something like more pink or just more neutral on the lids and stuff and the lips. My makeup is just kind of all over the place today and I'm just really not sure how I'm feeling about it. And it's mostly the eyeshadow. I'm just really not loving my eyeshadow today. <laughs> Which if you wanna find out what this is all about, just like, subscribe and stay tuned and all of that jazz but let me know what you guys think about Lottie London I definitely recommend the bronzer and I definitely of course recommend the highlighter I've been recommending this highlighter since like the dawn of my channel <laughs> super fun kind of a lot for the daytime but I mean whatever I I'm always a lot in the daytime <laughs> and then the blush I'm just kind of like I don't know so there we go let me know what you guys think as always love hearing from you I really appreciate you watching right is that what I say I don't know thank you for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next video so I will see you god this is the clunkiest outro I really hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video okay okay bye